think you've got them? Find out now. Come on, everybody. Oh, thank you. Hello, I'm Frank Nicotero. Welcome to Street Smarts. The show where people flex their brain power for a shot at thousands of dollars in cash and a chance to be crowned king or queen of the streets. Yeah, oh yeah. In our studio today are two contestants who will try to prove just how bright they are by predicting just how dim other people can be. Ooh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Now I've scoured the planet looking for average everyday men and women and tested their street smarts by asking simple questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to gauge the brightness of their bulbs. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, John. Yeah, it's John. John. Give it up. And Lori. Hi, Lori. Hey. Now remember, guys, it's all or nothing here on Street Smarts. The winner keeps the loot, the loser gets the boot, okay? Now, let's meet okay. the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, I spent a little time rapping with TJ. TJ, what's going on? What do you do here at the Irvine Spectrum? I actually work here over at EB. Okay, and that's like it sells games and stuff? Yeah, video games, oh. the whole nine. So now, TJ, what do you do for fun? Man, I'm a musician. I hear you rap. My name is TJ Quake here at the place we call Electronics. So at the street, smart. Damn, straight, kick it with the flow. Cause I gotta get my nine to five broken on the flow, baby Bubba. Here we go, street smarts. Kicking it out here, WB, G. <laughs> Actually, yeah. TJ. Next, I met Allison, a woman with a great set of lungs. And Allison, what are you doing in town? I'm here on the national tour of Grease the Musical. And what, are you a pink lady? No, I'm Cindy Williams from Laverne and Shirley's Understudy. So if she would get bumped... Then I am the star. <laughs> Summer loving, hand me a blast! If you could marry a famous celebrity, who would it be? You. Nice. <laughs> okay. And finally, I was thoroughly analyzed by Edith in Los Angeles. Edith, I understand you can uh, analyze handwriting, right? Oh, yes. Okay, you're excited. So listen, I wrote on here, I wrote, I love street I smarts. I love street smarts. That's my handwriting. Now, what can you tell me about me? You're very open-minded, and you love people, and uh, you just, you're okay. What else can I tell I'm you? I'm an okay guy. You're an okay guy. <laughs> All right, there you go. Good, okay. <laughs> Edith, I understand you're quite a dancer. Oh, there's the salsa. Go, go, Edith. Go, Edith. That's your birthday. <laughs> okay, it's time for a little game we like to call Who Knew It? Yeah. All right, we ask the same question, all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question correctly. You will lock in your choice, and a correct prediction will earn you $100. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, let's get this show on the road. Now, the first question we asked to TJ, Allison, and Edith was, what does it mean to do something cum laude? Who do you think knew it? Who knew it? What does it mean to do something cum laude? They're rolling, they're rolling. All right, we locked in with a TJ and Edith? We're locked in with TJ yep. and Edith? I'm staying with my man. Okay, all right, let's check in. Uh, Lori, we're gonna check in with Edith for 100 bucks here. What does it mean to do something cum laude? Cum laude is like, uh, cum laude, well, that would be doing something uh, French. Do doing something French? French? Have you ever kissed French? French, yeah, <laughs> Ooh, why not? Ooh la la, French. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is an incorrect answer, Lori. She did not know the answer. Exactly. John, we're gonna see if TJ can win you 100 bucks. Oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean to do something cum laude? Cum laude? I think that is a form of uh, karaoke. <laughs> it's a form of karaoke? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, that is incorrect, John. Oh, he did not know the answer. The correct answer is to uh, do something with honors, to graduate <sighs> cum laude, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, the second question I asked was, what did Dr. Evil steal from Austin Powers? Who knew it? What do you think? Who knew it? I, I got to stick with my man, TJ. We're locked in with TJ? <laughs> we're locked in. Okay, before we go to TJ, we're going to check in with Allison and see what she thought, just for fun. What did Dr. Evil steal from Austin Powers? His juice is... Oh, his Movo juice, or what was it? The, oh! What kind of juice did you say? It starts with an M, um, Mambo juice. Okay, all right, thanks, Allison, all right. Okay, now, we're gonna go, uh, John, we're gonna see if TJ knew why, TJ? Yeah, because he works in the game store, he looks like one of those type of guys that goes to Austin Powers all right, movies. let's see if we can get you both some money. What did Dr. Evil steal from Austin Powers? His mojo. <laughs> what is mojo? Mojo is what makes Austin Powers, you know, hit. Right. And you got mojo. Swinging. Yeah, I got me some mojo. <laughs> Do I have mojo? I believe you got a little something. I got a little something. Yeah. <laughs> There's a hundred bucks for each of you. Nice job. Hundred bucks for Laura. Hundred bucks for John. All right.
right, guys, so the last question I asked them was, when you are praying to the porcelain god, what are you doing? Oh, Who knew it? I'm brewing with my man TJ again. Okay, you're locked in with TJ, and you got Allison. Okay. All right, John, we're going to see if we can get you another 100 bucks here with TJ. He is. All right. TJ, when you are praying to the porcelain god, what are you doing? I'm praying for grain and uh, flour. <laughs> so if you're praying to the porcelain god, you're, you're praying for what? Grain and flour. Well, you know, if you, you gather those like dry spells in your land, you pray to the porcelain god to uh, help you uh, flourish your land. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. He didn't know the answer. I don't know where he was going with that. Now, Lori, we're going to see if we can get you 100 bucks. You go with Allison? Absolutely, Allison. She has prayed to the porcelain god. I can just see it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm let's find out. Occasion. When you are praying to the porcelain god, what are you doing? You're getting sick and throwing up all in your toilet. It's an awful college day. Way to go, Lori. There's 100 bucks for you to add to your total. Nice job. Yeah. All, right. all right. Let's check our scores. Actually, Lori, you have 200 bucks. Nice yeah. job. Right. John, you got 100. You got 100. No problem. All right. All right. You just saw who knew it. Next, we'll find out who blew it. So don't go away. What language is spoken in China? Chinese. Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Beef and broccoli. <laughs> in Jack and the Beanstalk, what did Jack trade to get the magic beans? Gold, beans, beans, beans. But he got the magic, what did he trade to get the magic beans? Oh, his horse. Traded his horse. Traded his horse, it's true. It's true. It was a cow. You're correcting me again. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the street smarts it's time to meet our players let's say hello to john john what's up hey yeah, what's up what's right. up man now john um tell me about when you do laundry tell me about the laundromat <laughs> oh well see what happened one time i had a, a girlfriend i was dating me and her got into a little sexual thing in the laundromat nice and uh i you know spun dry her yeah yeah you spun dry her nice and then <laughs> dry her. just put the clothes right in the washer in, right in the very washer. good all right and Lori, Lori, i understand you're bilingual yes yeah i am ka C. All right. <laughs> that means nope. she's going down. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We have a challenge thrown out. All right, right. well, listen. Yeah. The fur is going to fly as we enter our next round. <laughs> Who blew it? All right, this time All we right. asked the same question, only two of our world scholars. One answered it right, one answered it wrong. Each time John or Lori correctly identifies which scholar blew the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Now, in this round, guys, you can earn an extra 200 bucks by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Yeah. Here's yeah. how it works. Okay. When you're a question you think your opponent won't be able to answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they can't answer the question, you get 200 bucks. All right. All right. But if they answer the question correctly, the money is theirs and you're the dunce. Now remember, you only have five seconds to answer the question and there's only one chance in the round to use the dunce, okay? okay. So here's the question and you blew it, we asked first. We asked to TJ and Edith, complete this slogan, pardon me, do you have any? So who do you think, who blew it, guys? Flip your paddle up there, face us. There you go, John. So who blew it? Okay, you're locked in with Edith. Both of you. Two hundred bucks on the line for both of you. Let's see if she blew it. Complete this slogan. Pardon me. Do you have any manners? Do you have any manners? Pardon me. Do you have any manners? Very good. All right. That is incorrect. Nice job, guys. She blew it. Two hundred bucks each. All right. The next question we ask both Allison and Edith. Finish this poem. I think I shall never see a poem as lovely as a. Oh, John, you've been done. Put the cap on, Lori. There you go. 200 bucks at stake here, John, if you know it. Finish this poem. I think I shall never see a poem as lovely as... A tree? That is right. That is the correct answer. Nice job. 200 bucks. Put it on, Lori. <laughs> Very nice, John. John, give it up. All right. Give it up. <laughs> now, John and Lori, we have to figure out who blew it here. Who do you think blew it? Either Allison or Edith. Let me see your answers. Who do you think blew it? I'm gonna go with Edith. <laughs> You're both locked in with Edith? I should go with her. Okay, no. <laughs> she didn't know. All right, let's check out Edith. Finish the poem. I think I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. There you go, a tree. Oh my Trees God. are lovely. <laughs> Edith got it, I'm sorry. She, she, uh, she did not. It looks like uh, evidently Allison blew it, so uh, you guys. No money in that run, but nice dunce play there. Okay, Way cool. to go, John. All right. All right. All, <laughs> He's right. Right. All right, guys, here's the last question that we asked TJ and Allison. We asked TJ and Allison, what is the Emancipation Proclamation? Who blew it? Emancipation Proclamation. Okay. Uh, you're both locked in with TJ? 
Lori, TJ? TJ has no idea what it is. All right, 200 bucks at stake for both of you. Let's see TJ. Okay, TJ, what is the Emancipation Proclamation? Emancipation Proclamation? I think that's a bill, isn't it? It's a bill? Yeah, What it's do you a mean bill? bill? A uh, bill that they just uh, wrote actually not too long ago. It's um, being, uh, I think they're doing props on it. Prop 28, I believe. Would you vote yes on the Emancipation Proclamation? Uh, I think I would vote no on my You'd vote no? Yeah, because it's not really for me. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for you? I'm not, I don't believe in it, really. And I mean, there's a lot of my friends that are okay. voting in, but I don't okay. believe it. <laughs> Baby. The correct answer, of course, uh, a decree signed by President Abraham Lincoln, which freed the slaves. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That, All right. Let's recap the scores. John, you're in the lead with 700 bucks. Yes, baby. Give it up to John. Lori, you have 600. Not bad. All right. And now listen. See if Lori can overtake John for the Street Smarts throne. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Grab your chaps because it's time to pick your pony, yeah! This time, John and Lori will each choose one of the three scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 smackaroos, yeah! And to keep you on your toes, we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round. Now, what a dunce success, over here. Yeah, a successful dunce will earn you another $300. Okay, and we'll again, see. you guys got five seconds to answer the question, and there's only one dunce in the round. The player okay. who is trailing chooses first, and Lori, that is you. Who would you like to mount? I will take TJ. You're gonna go with TJ? My man, TJ. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. And uh, John, who are you gonna ride? I'm gonna have to roll with Allison. You're gonna roll with Allison? <laughs> yeah. Very good, all right. Unfortunately, uh, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Edith then. So Bye, uh, Edith. Edith, don't worry, don't be too sad. Bye -bye. <laughs> we're gonna see Edith in the final round, so don't worry. All okay. Right. Okay, now the first question to TJ was, what was composer Ludwig van Beethoven's famous handicap? Lori, oh, oh my God, Lori, you've been done straight off the top. Put the cap on. 300 bucks at stake, Lori. Once again, what was composer Ludwig van Beethoven's famous handicap? He couldn't hear. That is the correct answer. Nice job. 300 bucks. Throw it on Johnson. That puts you into the lead, Lori. Very nice. Now, Lori. Now, Lori. Uh, to you, this is the question we asked to uh, to TJ. Do you think he got it right or wrong? I'm sorry, brother. I don't think he got it right. You think he got it wrong? Okay, let's check in with TJ. TJ, what was composer Ludwig van Beethoven's famous handicap? Ludwig van Tova? No, van Be <laughs> Ludwig van Beethoven. Oh, Ludwig van Beethoven. Right, don't get it confused. His famous handicap. Uh, I believe he was deaf. He was deaf. <laughs> yeah. He got it right. I'm sorry, Lori. He did not yeah, yeah, answer. Okay. I'm very Correct proud answer. That he was knew that. All right, John, this is a chance for you to take the lead. This is the first question I asked Allison. I asked her, Nike was the Greek goddess of what? Think she got that right or wrong? Think she got it wrong? Yep. You're locked in with wrong? Why? I just don't think she knows because I don't know. Okay, all right. Let's see if Allison knows. Nike was the Greek goddess of what? Shoes. Greek goddess of shoes. There you go. Yes. Back then, they had to wear sportswear? Yes, when they, when they fought the big gladiator fights, they had to wear shoes. Yeah. That is incorrect. Nice job, John. She did not know the answer. Another right. banner box for you. The correct answer, Nike was the Greek goddess of victory. I don't think they had uh, air shoes back then. That's All right, right. Yeah. Nikes. All right, Lori, we got, a, we got a game going back and forth here. Okay. Here's the next question I asked to TJ. I asked him, who was Jack Ruby? You think he got that right or wrong? <laughs> Negative. Wrong? You're going to walk in wrong? Yeah, I don't know who Jack Ruby is. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if TJ knows. Who was Jack Ruby? Jack Ruby? Uh, he was a football star, wasn't he? Football star? Yeah. Where'd he play? Uh, he played for the Cincinnati Knicks. The Cincinnati Knicks? Oh, yeah, I got that wrong. That's the basketball team. <laughs> the New Jersey. That's no, the New York Knicks. Yeah, the New York Knicks. Uh, no, no. Uh, actually, uh, he played for the Bulls, didn't he? The Bulls. Yeah. What was he, point guard, right? Point guard, Jack Ruby? Uh, I believe he was a point guard, yeah. Yeah, he could shoot. Yeah, <laughs> he was a point guard. <laughs> Uh, Jack Ruby is the man who shot Lee Harvey Oswald back in 63. Okay, all right. Now, John, the next question I asked to Allison was, if a man refers to his ball and chain, what is he talking about? What do you think? Oh, you think Allison got that right or wrong? She go get that right. She got it right? <laughs> yeah. Because okay. she looked like she could be a ball and chain. Okay, all right. Let's see if Allison does. Allison, if a man refers to his ball and chain, what's he talking about? His junk. His ball and chain. What do you mean his junk? His unit? His unit. His size matter? Well, no. Does it matter to you? No. 
Yes! <laughs> she did not know it. I'm sorry, John. She did not know it. Sorry. The correct answer is his wife or girlfriend. Right. There you go. Sorry cool. about That's that. Cool. That's cool. All right, Lori, the next question. Yes. Uh, I asked a TJ, what does it mean if you have cottage cheese thighs? Do you think he got that right or wrong? Oh, he knows, because he checks out the girls. Okay, you think he got it right? Yeah, he's on to it, absolutely. All right, 300 bucks a steak. Yeah. Let's see if TJ knows. What does it mean if you have cottage cheese thighs? Uh, I think that's that cellulite that women have. They have a problem with the cellulite thing sometimes. You know, it's a little cheesy back yeah. here. Does that turn you on? It, uh, you know, some women look good with some cellulite. <laughs> you know, I really? Lie. <laughs> you know, long as, you know, long as the meat's back here, it's all good to me. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. John, chance to make a little comeback here. We're going to go to Allison. This is the last question for you Come in this on, round. Allison. I asked Allison, what was Little Miss Muffet eating while sitting on her tuffet? I think she got that right or wrong. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. You're locked in with right? Yeah. Right, let's check it out. I'll roll with her. What was Little Miss Muffet eating while sitting on her tuffet? Her curds away. Curds away? Yeah. What's curds away? I think like cheese curds that you get at like state fairs probably. The Little Miss Muffet was eating. Her curds. Away. Her curds away. <laughs> she did not know the answer, John. I'm sorry. She did not. She said curds away. The correct answer is curds and way. I'm sorry. So uh, that is not the correct answer. I'm sorry. All right. Let's recap the scores okay. real quick. Going to the last round. Laura, you have 1,500 bucks. Yay! John, you got 1,000. Don't worry. All right. All right. Now, when we return, Lori and John will be making one last prediction on a question we asked TJ, Allison, and Edith. They'll each choose one of the street scholars, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their final wager. Here's the question we asked all three. Why won't the Notorious B.I.G. tour anymore? So stay tuned, because next up on the thrilling conclusion of Street Smarts is... The wager of death. All right, we'll be right back. Everybody and uh, listen, just want to say, John, real quick. We did check the tape. She did say curds away was an incorrect answer. But we did check for you, so I just want to let everybody know that. Okay. okay. So, folks, get a gurney because someone's going down in our final round, the wager of death. Woo! Yeah. All right. All right, John and Lori, here's the skinny. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out in the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Let's recap the scores, Lori. Uh, you have fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. John, you have $1,000, okay? Right, nice job, all right. Yeah. And here's the question we asked TJ, Allison, and Edith. We asked them, why won't the Notorious B.I.G. tour anymore, okay? Now, John, you're trailing, so you're gonna go ahead and choose first. Who, uh, who are you gonna ride here? Who do you wanna see? <coughs> Flip it over. Okay, you're gonna go with Edith. Very interesting, all right, and Lori, who do you wanna see? Oh, you're gonna go with TJ. TJ. Very interesting, all right, first, John, you're trailing. Let's check out Edith's clip. Why won't the Notorious B.I.G. tour anymore? I wish I knew. Okay, what do you think? If he's not, maybe maybe what? he's not popular, at least just maybe he's not, he's not in the trend, right. his sound is not there. Okay, Edith got it wrong. All right, John, all right. Edith got it wrong, what did you say, right or wrong? You said she'd get it wrong. Very nice, how much are you gonna add to your thousand dollars? Another thousand, very nice, two thousand dollars. You take the lead, very nice. All right, Laura, you have TJ. Let's roll his clip, see if you got it right or wrong. Why won't the Notorious B.I.G. tour anymore? I believe because he's dead. <laughs> Is it hard to tour when you're dead? I mean, they can travel your casket around, but him himself ain't gonna be walking too far, no. <laughs> All right, TJ got it right. That is the correct answer. Unfortunately, he has passed away. Laurie, what did you say TJ would say, right or wrong? You said it right, okay. Did you wager enough to take the lead? He's got 2,000, you have 1,500, what's your bet? She bet 